One thing that is very important to us in our garden besides growing healthy, nutritious and biological vegetables is adding beautiful flowers in the mix. In this video I'm going to tell you everything and all the reasons that we have to add flowers in between our crops. Hey and what is going on everybody? Welcome to The Foundry. My name is Raymond and today we're talking flowers. Now besides adding beauty to your garden, there's also a big reason and that is your vegetables have male and female flowers that need to be pollinated. So by adding flowers like lavender, marigolds and sunflowers, you attract these awesome worker bees and bumblebees that pollinate all your vegetables. These little guys will go inside the blossoms of your vegetables and will actually start the fruiting process. In return, they take the nectar from the flowers. So by sharing the nectar, they will give you more crops in return. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's a big zucchini all the way on this edge here. It's a climbing zucchini, but we decided to put it on the floor. It's already about three and a half meters in length, but it has been pollinated by bees. All we did, besides giving him a nice spot, is add a big bush of musk mallow next to it, which is a big pollinator attracting plant. Sadly, the weather hasn't been as sunny in the last days, so it is turning darker and darker and the flowers are turning gray, but it did help out a great bunch in attracting all these worker bees. And it's actually still housing some new bugs. We've got a small plague of fire bugs, our luck really, because they suck out the juice of fallen leaves, increasing the decay speeds. They don't really hurt our garden and I'm always happy to provide a house for some insects. In the backyard we made use of lavender to attract the bumblebees. Besides that actually being a great help to pollinate all our plants, there's also a great joy in just watching them, collecting all the nectar, putting it in a little sack that's on their leg and then moving away, coming back five minutes later to have a look at all the flowers again and collecting some more. Planting the right flower next to the right plants will also greatly improve your pest control. We had some butter beans over here that we've now taken out and we had a pest on them with aphids. We planted some marigold right next to the butter beans and the marigolds actually attract ladybugs and the ladybugs eat the aphids. So after a week all the aphids were gone. It's important to know that we can actually save the bees by adding some flowers to our garden. Vegetables rely on bees to actually pollinate them. 80% of all the pollination is done by bees. So by adding a few flowers here and there, we can actually help them to stay alive and help us to be able to have food in the future. I just wanna point out that you don't wanna go out, grab a paintbrush and start pollinating all your flowers yourself because that's gonna be a tedious task, isn't it? Bees do all that work for us, so let's make sure we help them to stay alive so they help us with our food. Now I know some people will be scared to invite bees into their garden, but from my experience, I've never ever been stung by a bee in the garden. Usually they are just flying about and collecting nectar. If they do get close to you, it's probably because they're looking for water. So a good tip is to just spray a few leaves with some water and they will probably go there and just start drinking. All of these great benefits for nature and your vegetable garden are still not the only reasons to plant flowers. The most important of them all is the pure beauty a garden should have in order for you to enjoy being in it. We are naturally drawn by vivid colors and complex shapes and that's exactly what a flower provides us with. Get more joy out of your garden and also help nature to stay alive. So there you have it, all our reasons to add beautiful flowers into our garden beds. If you have any more questions about this subject, you can always Google for permaculture gardening and you will find loads of information on what plants to add and how you can really grow with nature instead of against it. If you like this video, leave a like, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. I wanna thank you guys for watching and don't forget to live the fun dream.